no. Oh, hey everybody, this is not a spray check. And the big news today is they're telling the president, they, the magical they, telling the president just to, shh, maybe not like that, to stop talking. Because I guess he's in Richard Nixon mode. Okay, maybe we should say that. Anyway, uh, we are starting our Kansas daily coverage. Actually, we've been doing it for a few days, but we'll be doing dailies starting tomorrow. Yeah, yeah I guess it is starting tomorrow. Anyway, meanwhile, the world still goes on. We're going to bring Olkem on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah. The President of the United States says it's all a witch hunt. His people say it's a witch hunt. Uh, un oh, but unfortunately, the press is no longer calling it a witch hunt. No less than Tom Brokaw is now after the White House. He said the White House is now in Richard Nixon defense mode and nothing, they said that totally nothing is going to get done because the president now going out and blaming it all on the Republicans is no longer working when you have that, when they made a mistake, they went after the Associated Press and everybody that does business with them. The uh, Bloomberg basically, who's a big supporter of the president, was basically cloning information off of terminals and everybody knows it was going back to the president. And, uh, and they're trying to, you know, his supporters, I mean, there, there are people uh, working in the news industry to still support the president, and unfortunately they happen to be the same color as the president, and they're basically doing it on a racist grounds. And uh, instead of simply doing it as a newsman, they're after him because he's black. Hmm. No, they're not after him because he's black. They're after him because he is actually, in reality, the most incompetent president we have had for a long time. He actually doesn't do anything. He comes out, he, he, is, uh, he is Will Ferrell's version of a newsman except as president because, I mean, I fully, I fully believe he did not have a clue. They, they told him what they thought he needed to know on Benghazi and then he went out to party. Mm. And then the next day it would have interfered with his campaigning and partying so they didn't tell him again. So he comes out with a teleprompter and says stupid things. Yesterday he didn't have a teleprompter and he basically only answered one question and he thought, well, this question is going to be asked to me by friends. They're not going to question. And then they did and basically he put his foot in it. It does seem, which is the way I have BS the bull out today, because it seems that the President of the United States was given the information he said he has to wait to find out about last month. Mm. He's known since last month what was going to be said and he's been trying to buy time to kill it. The problem is there are career executives, career, career people working in the, the government that he can only threaten. And you want to threaten somebody with the uh, investigative branch because then they'll just simply turn it over to somebody else. They'll leak it to the press and then the press said, why are you going after these people? Okay, like this morning, they said, one of the, one of the people that was being investigated Jeff, in the press department said, we know who gave the orders, Mr. President. Mr. President, we know who gave the orders. Oh, did I say Mr. President? Mm -hmm. We know who gave the orders, Mr. President. And Mr. President, we know and we can blow the whistle on, oh, did I say Mr. President, we can blow the whistle? Mm -hmm. that, that's an insinuation by the guy that had the, it was going after that Obama gave the orders. He said, he said they said this morning he's a Chicago thug. Mm. They, they knew it and they put him in. One of them said he was, he was given the plot over Hillary because he was a black American and didn't want to look racist. That, that is like the worst reason. That's but the, you know what? It worked. National politics. Yeah, it's, but it wasn't national politics. He got, he won, okay, he lost, he lost. This last election, he lost all the younger vote. He lost all the male vote. He lost. He really got the Hispanic, but they didn't come out. He got. He got a fraction of what he had the first election, and the people are the same people that said that we have voters, we have remorse over it, are really unhappy now because uh, it seems that if you happen to have a thing like your name, your company, your broadcasting company was pretty to be broadcasting, which is left. Mm -hmm. If it was like Freedom, which is left. If it would have all of it, like it was 76 uh, broadcasting network, they uh, seemed that it wasn't concerned, it wasn't just hitting Republican conservatives, it hit anyone that had a name that was associated with the Bill of Rights or the, uh, con or, or the uh, uh, you know, Declaration of Independence. If you used anything to those, anybody, you know, Hancock, Adams, Franklin, 
Names like that got you in trouble with the Internal Revenue Service. Oh, they did. Which means they were using computers to pull out words that they thought were anti-big government. Mm -hmm. So. And Facebook and talks to buy Israel's ways for up to one billion dollars. Which way no one understands it. I think it's not well, one. Of the it's things. like well, I know what ways is. It's traffic. What it's it like real-time traffic, but they want to pay, spend a billion dollars to they do it. They don't need it because everybody, okay, Facebook doesn't work. Everybody know Facebook is losing young people at a pace that you could not believe. Well, what happened was when they took Instagram and changed Instagram, it basically killed Facebook. It was a yeah. stupid mistake to censor mm -hmm. Instagram and then trying to say, well, we're going to sell the pictures mm -hmm. that you put on it, which they backed off <laughs> of, which they are actually doing because... We, uh, the Bikini Star has got lots of stuff I heard out there with things on them, but um, Instagram and Facebook is um, it's, it's existing, but it's no longer what it was. It will never be again because yeah. other things are coming along and replacing it. And Facebook scam alert, what really happens when you like? Oh, a like can, first of all, a like can get you fired. A like can get you sent material through to your email that you have no, if you, okay, if you like something and, uh, and they are attached to something else, you get flooded with spam from the people. You know, you know, I know, I've been careful about that because I've, what, went to like events. Anything. I've been to events, I download a picture and they say, well, if you want the full size resolution, <coughs> press this button and we can look at all your contacts. Right. I'm going, what? Which is why, They're going to look at all my contacts? It's why my, my, okay, my site of Facebook has very few, they're mostly industry, you know, like Academy Award winners, cinematographers, directors and stuff. And I, the, I haven't actually been on it for a while. I did the other day and they thought maybe something had happened. They said no. They said, um, I just got tired of, of uh, saying no with all of this junk that they were sending me all the time. When well, they sent me stuff, and I know they censor you. If you say something that was critical to somebody, they would censor you. And then the only way to get your thing back up was you'd have to let people know what they had done. And all of a sudden, everything that they took off is put back again. But they don't read your email. They read every bit They read there. everything that you put on there. Yeah. And, and in if fact, it, if you put it on Facebook, you can't, it does go to the internet. Because I've done searches on the internet and it takes you to Facebook comments. I know. Yeah. And Sony forecast profit told steady this year after return to black. Well, we know it's not. We know it's the picket pile of... We know lots of people at Sony that are no longer working with Sony. Mm -hmm. And then we went to an event the other day and the guy is telling people, you know, I, you used to be in my position. He said, yeah, and I know who's getting ready to take your position shortly. Then the guy basically in a state of shock. What do you mean? He said, yeah, they're firing you. Mm -hmm. He said they're firing everybody because they're... The Sony this morning... They made they put the they put the trial announcement out about splitting Sony up into pieces now, mm. and uh, there's no Sony is denying it, but the stock went up. When you know that it's basically going to happen, they're going to split off Sony Electronics from Sony Entertainment from Sony Online from all of this stuff. It's all being done. Yeah, and Obama administration weighs options for expanding wiretap laws. Yeah, that that's gone. That after the after the thing. Uh, and it seems like a year ago, Holder knew this was going on, but it was important to the national security that they find out just exactly who 20, 20 secure lines were being used with, which means they got, they said, well, we were not going to use any of that information. We were just trying to find out if the reporters leaked. No, they got a secret wiretap order, which is not legal. Mm -hmm. It basically, they said, that, and then... Holder made certain that it was done by his deputy, not him, but he gave the order. So Holder, Holder is gone. It's just a matter, once again, it is not a matter of if Holder is gone, it's now when Holder is going to have to resign. And after Benghazi, IRS, a Tea Party probe, a government sees AP phone records. I know, isn't that great? I mean, that's, I, I know. Uh, like if you talk to anyone, here it works is, if you called in a tip to AP on those lines, your everything that belongs to you now belongs to Eric Holder and Barack Obama. Oh, but Eric Holder had kept his mouth. What he's keeping his mouth shut because why? He, it was national security, but they. Uh, but Eric Holder again this morning. I I personally guarantee that none of this information that we gathered is going is, is public. And then they pointed out the fact it's already public. We know about it. <laughs> 
So therefore, I mean, these people, first of all, they're also saying the same things about everybody. They said the best thing to do is to no longer hold press conferences, to simply give the material to people that are favorable, which you have no, okay. Last night, John Stewart basically brought a, he brought a quiver full of arrows out and he, um, he started taking them out and he said, it looks like the quiver of big government is, uh, of arrows is now ended under the Obama era. And he said that it's not from doing, it's not from letting them fall on the floor, it's from taking the arrows out and shooting yourself in the ass. Mm. So. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Um, it, it's not what they tell you about doing business online that's important, it's what you've got to <laughs>